Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tiara 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, November 16th, 2023. Tomorrow, on Friday, Elon Musk has gotten permission to launch the largest rocket that's ever been launched. And the uh, reported purpose of that is to break through what is known as the firmament in our skies. Let's take a look at a compilation I've got and see if there's any possibility that the universe wants to inform us about that this event may in some way coincide with uh, some of those drops by 17. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, in uh, the 314th drop, People were advised to be the autists. We know you are. It's about the break. And there's been speculation that possibly this was referring because often the past uh, um, events were foreshadowing future ones when these were written. So there's been talk, is, is this, is this uh, break in the firmament going to happen? And is this what was referred to here? Now let's take a look here. I'm going to my next one, which you can, I know some people don't go to Twitter, so let me just show you the um, tweet for it, although I do have the link if you want it. Okay, on the 13th, uh, Elon Musk was informed that approval to launch should happen in time for a Friday launch. I hear the optimal time is 7 a.m. Central Time tomorrow, which would be 9 a.m. for the Eastern. Okay, and then I also included King James Version some scripture about the firmament and uh, when it was mentioned in the creation story. And last but not least, there's also this, <laughs> watch the water. That's another speculation that people have been having. If the firmament refers to the waters above and the waters below, and we were told to watch the water, is this... You know, is it biblical? <laughs> well, let's ask the universe. Now, my personal Laura's view is I have a strong faith and belief in the loving creator and nothing's going to happen <laughs> that, uh, that isn't uh, wanted, desired, or approved of. There's no rocket big enough to override divine wishes. That's the Laura's view part of this. So uh, let's see with this launch tomorrow. Oh, and I have a question too. Why is it that NASA, which stands for not a straight answer, never a straight answer? <laughs> They've been reporting that they sent this uh, explorer to Mars and, you know, people have walked on the moon. And so why are there so many efforts to break through low Earth orbit and break through the firmament. If space travel's been happening by conventional means for half a century, and people don't stop to wonder, maybe they should. <laughs> okay, but let's see, this rocket, rocket launch tomorrow. Um, I'm asking for insights and information. Is, the, uh, is it going to break through the firmament? And uh, are there uh, outcomes and insights about that that the universe wants us to know? So with the Elon Musk's huge rocket tomorrow, the largest one ever launched, I hear, um, is it going to successfully breach the firmament? And is uh, there, are there insights and information about it, including um, a possible connection to those watch the water? And it's all about the break that uh, I referred to earlier in my compilation. Let's find out. So again, our question is, will Elon's rocket be allowed to breach the firmament? Insights to information about the situation, including a possible connection to those two posts that I referred to in my compilation. Just as an FYI, while I always manipulate the cards here in front of you, I never stop the camera, and we will find out together what the universe wants us to know. I do shuffle them off camera a little bit too and just, you know, pray and talk about, talk to uh, my loving creator about what I'm going to be asking. And twice during that off screen time, the Ace of Wands jumped out of my deck twice, the same card, 
uh, twice, and it was a jump. So you can take it on faith that I've said that, but apparently there's something about this uh, question that's important, and aces usually indicate a yes. It also talks about new beginnings and creative successes, new beginnings, so it's kind of exciting. Let's see, though, with our on-camera shuffle what we find out about the question. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Lovers, and the High Priestess. Okay, so we asked if uh, Elon's rocket's going to be permitted to break through the firmament. At this point, while it does seem like this event it may be a new beginning at some point, I'm not seeing any hard yeses, but let's look at some of the elements of what I do see here, okay? First of all, this entire project has cost a lot of money, and there's been a lot of effort put into it. It uh, The intent behind it is not nefarious, okay? And uh, the intent actually is part of trying to uh, have our matrix become the reality that it should be where innocent life is safe and spared, okay? The, uh, the lover's card shows up as our strongest insight card, and that is about, there's some partnership involved here, there's some, you know, kind of a divine element to it as far as um, approving of and guarding and guiding these lovers, you know, which is a perfect balance of male and female energy, very innocent, very, uh, very pure. Okay. And then we've got the high priestess card showing up also as an insight card. And she usually shows up when there are um, events that are about to go from being veiled and somewhat secretive to obvious on the earth plane. So we do have some reveals that are getting ready to happen in the near future with that. So the uh, situation, though, is indicated with the Nine of Wands, which means that this is kind of a culminating event, this large um, uh, rocket that's being deployed. And uh, the uh, other element to it is the Knight of Cups. Now, he can be tricky, very, very tricky, okay? He can even be uh, something of a fraud, okay? The, uh, so they're not being at the very minimum. They're not being quite honest about what their intent is, what their hope is. My hope is that the uh, the matrix we're in is uh, being corrected. <laughs> and this is just part of the process where we're adding some of our human energy to the process. But that's my hope. That's not even a view. That's just Alora's hope. Let's get a couple more cards for further insights and information here. Got the Page of Swords, a Truth card. Queen of Wands, another truth card. Those are good. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Okay, let's look at these and see how these layer into what we're getting as far as this. Uh, again, no firm yeses other than the ones I got off screen, and I'm not going to ask you to uh, consider those. I want you to see what the camera shows, what we get with that. The Page of Swords is a truth and diplomacy card. So it's coming up. While they're not being clear and candid about what the entirety of what their hope is with this launch, the uh, <clears throat> there is that's part of that is an element of diplomacy. There's things that they can't talk about until you know precursors have some landmarks have been past and followed. But with the Queen of Wands here, I'm not seeing anything troubling. Queen of Wands is an accomplishment card and uh, very honest and intuitive. So we've got two strong intuitives. So listen to your discernment on this. What you hear is not going to be the full story. Listen to your discernment on that. And then the final, but also the least important of the looking ahead near future cards, we have the seven of Pentacles, which says that whatever happens tomorrow is not the final, it's not the grand finale, uh, but it is going to be headed that way. And there's uh, been a little bit of strife in the background, but not 
of long duration about this. So I don't know whether that's the intent and how much they're disclosing or what, but it does look like the launch is going to happen. And uh, there's been a lot of hard work and it's an expensive endeavor, but the aim is beautiful, absolutely beautiful to help this reality reach its potential and get to a, a better, healthier place. Okay, once that happens, then boom, we have the truth cards coming into play and an acknowledgement that even if this all ends up being a big event, it's not the final. It's it's one of the big events, but not the grand finale. So let's recap. Elon Musk is going to be launching the largest rocket that's ever been launched <laughs> then that's my understanding that it's the largest. You can do your own research and confirm that for yourself if you want. And it is an attempt, I hear, to break through the firmament. So he's gotten the approval to give that a go. And uh, so we, what we were wondering was, our basic question was, we looked at a couple of posts that have said both watch the water and the firmament talks about the waters above, the waters below, and then, so watch the water. And then another post that said, it's about the break. So it's made people wonder, is this time, is this breaking through the firmament going to happen? And uh, just insights about it and information, if so. While I got off camera, um, some very definite hard yeses for that. We go by what we see on camera. Um, the camera view, although I did report that because it's rare that cards jump out for me and I have the same one jump out twice when it's there's 78 cards. I mean, the odds are really slim that two would jump out in space of five minutes and it'd be the same two. So I thought it was worth noting. But again, we're going to go with what we saw with the uh, no camera stopping on the deal. So the situation involves a lot of hard work that's gone into it. The uh, uh, clarified by the fact that their intent is not, they're not being totally honest about what their intent is. I said, my hope is that there's some changes going on with our matrix and this is the human element, the human energy that's contributing to the change. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Projects been really expensive and it's, uh, it's one that's taken a lot of hard skilled work. Okay. The, uh, uh, five of Pentacles talks about some um, avoiding some traditional elements of control and um, and being willing to deal with a little hardship. So if there is, and this is in our current spot, so if this does affect some sort of change or allow some energy in, it's going to be worthwhile. Now I say that because our near future card was the Six of Swords, which always talks about going from a place of trouble to calmer waters and protecting innocent life in the process. It's a beautiful card. So that's the near future one, okay? <clears throat> the strongest insight about that is that we have some divine help with this whole process as we go about making some corrections to our world and protecting innocent life. We have some divine help and there's just a really good balance because part of this um, corrections that we're going to have is going to be correcting the imbalance of divine masculine and divine feminine. So they're more in balance and work cohesively and in partnership. And so that there's not this uh, testosterone rage running the world type of thing that we have when the divine masculine was out of balance. The uh, high priestess card, and the, the second strongest insight card, she shows up when there is information that's about to be made public, it's quite close to the surface. So, uh, and again, there's this veil and it. I wondered if this, because this veil can so easily be cast aside, I think it is an indication about the rocket's potential success tomorrow and uh, the results from that. When it does happen, nothing to worry about, folks. Nothing to worry about. Um, it's going to be heralding a lot of truth and inspiration and uh, lots of truth here showing up with these cards. And just uh, the final card was just letting us know that there's, uh, again, there's been a lot of hard work that's gone into this. 
if this launch is successful and they meet the goal, their stated goal, and then their less obviously stated goals are met, um, it's only one of many events that still are in the process of unfolding. But through it all, we have good people and benevolent, wonderful help in making these changes to our world, our reality, and getting our poor human race <laughs> healthier, happier, and reaching their potential instead of being um, livestock. So that's Laura's view. And then the tarot had a little to add to it too. <laughs> So that's it for this video. Quick reminder, on Sunday, I'll be hosting a meditation. It will be done via live stream. You're welcome to uh, join remotely and uh, um, be part of it in the chat. We encourage and welcome everybody to come and take part in it. They take about 30 minutes. They're non-denominational. You can bring your own personal faith practice into it and uh, that's fine. Um, any energy that's provided that isn't positive, we're going to have that sent, just so you know, <laughs> because evil has to telegraph their moves, I'm going to do it too. If you bring negative energy to that, skepticism is fine, curiosity is fine, but if you bring negative intent, it's going to be sent to our loving creator to be transmuted. So now that you know, if you still show up and you're negative, <laughs> deep down you want to switch sides and we're going to help you do it. <laughs> So until next time, I thank you so much for your time and attention, and I wish every one of you lots of love and light and everything bright. <laughs>